Okay, we're getting ready to start our first match in our first semi-final. Miami Pandal Club against the Toronto Polar Bears. It's going to be ready. Toronto to start. Victoria Iglesias is bouncing that ball. And it'll Matt Dalavan to receive. And good, good return there from Marta to get us underway. And what you'll see here, Patrick, a lot of what they call, because a lot of Spanish is used in this sport. Mm. So if you don't speak Spanish, you'll learn it. <laughs> you, have your, right, yeah. you have your lobs, your globos, yeah. and constantly the, these globos, which is normally a defensive shot. Uh -huh. If you're in trouble, you hit it nice and high just to give you and your partner time to get back into position. But it can also be a transition uh, shot. Maybe the first three yeah. returns they've hit have all been lobs. Yeah. Yeah. You hit a lob just to, just to maybe chip and charge yeah. to attack the net. The globo is literally balloon in Spanish. Balloon, yeah. so, mm. so love 40, straight away pressure on Iglesias, you said. And something we've commented on as well all during the week, how often we see these matches start with a service break. Also, I suppose in tennis as well, some Feeding players take well. time to warm up. Mm -hmm. Well, they were all, we saw them out here as we were pre preparing, doing their warm-ups, doing their exercises, similar exercises that I see the tennis players do, you know, catching the ball, using their quick feet. But when the umpire says time, the umpire, and you step out there, it's maybe, different. Yeah, yeah, it takes players sometimes maybe three, four games, sure. sometimes just to you know, feel themselves even, get you know, get used to the, the court, the lighting, the surroundings, mm -hmm. the outdoors, the wind, the sun. Get that one in well there, Gennard. Once again, the lob from Ari Sanchez. Ari, whenever she can, will try and hit those biboras, those shots, which is like between a smash and... Uh, That's a long rally yeah. there. Well, actually, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see much longer. Oh, we will, okay. Yeah. Just slid away for there on, up from her there. She usually plays with a player called Paula Jose Maria, who yeah. is nicknamed Paula, D Paula Dynamite because she probably hits the hardest smashing She's women's She's not the pattern. biggest, but uh, it has, can generate plenty of power. It's all about technique and timing. Thinks that out well there, Marta. Now both uh, Iglesias and Guinart are two big hitters, so you look mm. at this pair, there are oh, times well. when they're lacking Ariana the play with a bit more control and patience. So our first game, our first golden point. Next point wins the game. Petters spin on that. We were at Guinart. Again dominating the net. Guinart and Iglesias. It's a little bit short. Ooh, reverse on the back foot, but still they're not dominating the point the two players at the net. Now a chance to come forward, Addy. There she is. And against down there from Taliban and that. Ooh, lovely pick up there by Iglesias. Great get. Oh, oh that's uh, tremendous. <laughs> great point. Yeah. So hard, so hard sometimes to get those out when it, especially when it hits the two corners. Just picks that one. She picked that nicely there. Ooh, and this time she didn't go over the net as well. No. <laughs> when you transition from tennis, especially, you've you've got to kind of think the most powerful shot isn't the best shot, so you think, wow, a good passing mm -hmm. shot. If you hit it too hard, yes, it's it a passing come shot. It will mm. come back. Come back is an easier Sometimes shot. Sometimes yeah. a, sl a slice is very effective on this playing like surface. Like that, that, that last shot there where that kind of goes, like, dies in the corner. It dies, yeah, yeah, it dies. Especially if there's any humidity mm -hmm. and it hits the glass, it drops like a dead weight. Okay. Which is why after uh, normally in every break or every couple of breaks, you'll see where somebody comes on to clean. Window man. He, they've actually got a special <laughs> window man. He is my hero. He does it to music. It's very you impressive. You will be impressed. Everything is entertaining here. Marta Talavan. Okay, Marta Talavan to serve. Can they consolidate that early break? Now, oh, oh, that's a nice oh, 
Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Lovely she's backhander. Looking, she's looking for the one down the middle there, and she's, she's watch this, she's looking for the one to come down middle, and then she cheated over too much. A lot of the credit from that winner also goes to Addy Sanchez. Here, mm -hmm. as in any sport, communication is so important because there are many points when you are facing the wrong direction, you're running yeah. backwards, and your player will say, sube, or baja. Um, atras. So the players stay back. One's come forward, one stay. So there she heard that Guinart hadn't come forward. So without even knowing, she knew that she could maybe beat her with that cross mm -hmm. call. Okay, 30 love. Once again, Taliban serving. And ah, just got caught up there. When it, run, when it runs off that wall that quickly, you, you're chasing it round and it's like trying to catch a rabbit. You're just not going mm. to. Also, it. yeah. Probably there. I know sometimes you track the ball, you kind of follow it. You've got to not follow it, turn the other way, and use your backhand. Once again, gets a good little, just a little touch on that Victoria Iglesias. You can hear there's a gap in the middle oh, that's there. A nice shot. Yeah, 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 straight yeah. away. Taliban just said, centro, uh -huh. and bang, down the middle. Yeah. Look at that, uh, two love already. Two games, two very quick games, Paul. Yep. As we say, we, we tend to see that games in women's matches last a little bit longer because you get more lobs. More rallies. And yeah. more rallies. But so far, they've started like a house on fire. Marina Guinard to serve under a little bit of pressure. You don't want to go in two breaks down. Oh, nice shot. Oh, there. Delightful. Good touch. Yeah. She wasn't looking for that, Sanchez. Here with the serve, uh, sometimes you get backhand serves looking for the angle. You try sometimes to get it off the glass if possible. And also the serves have to be at a certain pace, also depending on how quick you are to give you time to get to the net. Right. So normally a slower player would use a slightly slower serve. Did really well there, by the way, Victoria Iglesias, to get that ball away from the glass. Mm. And a bit wayward. As for the scoring system, you mentioned that perhaps maybe a golden point could be useful in tennis. Mm -hmm. Maybe some pro players. It's happened here, paddle players. There was actually a vote uh, not long ago, and I think it was like 55% said yes, 45% said no to the golden point. But they liked the golden point. Okay. Yeah, they liked it, but yeah. it was very marginal. Right. I suppose maybe the purists in tennis would yeah. be a big I, fan. I would say the purists in tennis would go for the you know deuce out mm -hmm. over the deciding point or golden point. Little Little bit, with so many more matches, so many more tournaments, do you think maybe is a good time now to perhaps have a golden point? Because, oh. before, you know, during well, your playing days, there weren't as yeah. many tournaments and events. Yeah, I think it's uh, right now there's a mix because the, the majors play it f straight up the traditional way, but a lot of the ATP and WTA events do go to the deciding point. Has a, little, has a little look around there, uh, Victoria Iglesias. Bernie Sanchez lobs that one straight back. Oh, lovely. Great finish. So, 2 1 in our first break for Miami. Uh, an important win there for the Polar Bears on that game. Just needed to get on the board there. Yep. Yeah. Also, that shot into the fence. It, you can see, obviously, the glass, you can more or less predict, depending on the spin, where the ball is going to drop. But the fence is unpredictable. So when it hits the fence, it can go up, it can go down, it can lift it away. Right. Sometimes it comes out at a weird tangent. Yeah. So you can always, you know, slide it's down low to the net. Yeah, definitely, yeah. No. But the fence needs to be there, because people no. ask, why is there a fence? Well, obviously, for the frame of the glass, right. you, you know, otherwise it just <laughs> collapses. So you need to have a metal fence. Now, you've got a fence at the back, which is four meters tall, and the fence on the side is three meters tall. So in Spanish, you have a por four, so you hit a shot that bounces, goes out the back. It's a por four or four four, mm -hmm. uh, which is quite difficult, a four four. Easy in Spanish, por four, and off the side is a four three. It's quite interesting. I was actually sort of made an effort to step on the court after we'd finished yesterday with the lights on, and it is quite surprising how it does isolate you on court. You don't really, you're not really that aware of the stands. It's, it's like the cage, you know. Like yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, break up. Sanchez and Taliban. Harry Sanchez said she had a few problems uh, with yeah, the serve yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday she, she lost two. Yeah, two, yeah. two service games. 
drop two. I don't think the serve is quite as decisive in paddle as it can be in tennis. No, no. I mean, tennis, uh, you've got uh, players that can uh, you that know, can that can just win the, win the get to yeah, tiebreak. Yeah, yeah, get to a totally. tiebreak. Yeah. There are some players two meters can't land a 15 centimeters tall, two meters right. ten. Huge, and also it depends on the surface as well. I mean, here this is actually a quick court, and the balls are quite quick as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you play sea level, uh, you know the points you can see the ball. I suppose it's tennis happened the same. The points last longer because right. the ball just the moves the yeah. yeah. Well, I checked out the balls. I went on the surface earlier here. It's quite a nice surface to play. It's almost like a little bit of a carpet feel to it. Yes. Yep. And the ball is basically like a is a tennis ball. Very it's similar. The pressure, little, yeah. little pressure, it's a little, it's a little deader. Yeah, it's slightly more. Yeah, slightly yeah. more pressure. I think in the uh, in the paddle ball than the tennis ball. Uh -huh. So the balance is different. But yeah, it's very very similar. Come out aggressive here, Iglesias and Guinard. 30-15. Once again, Ari Sanchez not having it our own way on the serve. Second. Changing the angle, but well right on there, down the middle. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Third quick middle. little backswing there. Just kind of took that ball nice and early. Normally, the player on the backhand side is the player that takes the shots mm. in the middle because it's on their forehand side. Right. So the vast majority, so the stronger player normally plays on the backhand side. Though sometimes you get a left-handed player and a right-handed player, and that can cause sometimes confusion. Nice Viber there yeah, from Talavan. Yeah. Playing well so far, Marta Talavan. And Marina Ginnart uh, has yet to play to a full potential, I think, here in New York. We will see her hit some big winners, but we'll also see her. Yeah, too many unforced errors. So looking to close out the game. Seeing good serve. That's a really good serve. Yeah, Tricky to handle that. Three games to one. One of the few times we've seen the serve win the point yes. outright. I mean, we're sat up here, not too many meters away from the court. And just like in tennis, when you actually get down courtside, it's when you realize how fast that ball travels. Yes. When you're watching on TV, it doesn't do it doesn't, justice. Yeah, it really <laughs> doesn't, yeah. And the spin, too. I'm, I'm marveling at how they, they can cut under the ball here. And you can see, I've seen when we were doing the highlights earlier that you know, when they do those volleys that they really cut it and the ball just dies. And those seem to be the players that have, have the most success. I mean, it's a really effective approach shot. You know, that mm -hmm. backhand slice. Or it's even more than a forehand slice. Looks to just gain a bit of space. Just long there from Marta Talavan. Who normally plays with Julieta Bidoria on the on the tour? Forty love. Well, she got broken to love. No, oh, she got broken to fifteen in our opening yeah. match. Forty love up in this one in our, open, our second serve. Just leaves it short there, so three games to two. Time for our second little break of the match. Well, sometimes we can hear the trainers. Sometimes the advice is, uh, you know, slightly deeper lobs, uh, look to gain control of the net. Sometimes, you know, isolate a certain yeah. player. If you see a player struggling with high shots and send some high lobs, I mean, the trainer has a huge job. I mean, you yourself, you know, we've seen in games and we sometimes wondered, what did the trainer say to a player mm -hmm. that they went to the bench, almost throwing their racket, you know, up into the air, down on the floor, and they've come back you with know, a smile on their yeah, face? Yeah, it depends on the player. Like, in my years as a Davis Cup captain, you know, certain players like to talk about certain tactical things. Mm -hmm. Some of them were more into technique <laughs> and their shot. Too. Andy Roddick had what he said to me one time, 
whatever you do, never say mention anything about my serve. Because he had <laughs> one of the greatest serves yeah, ever. Yeah. So he's like, you know, you can talk about tactics and you know different player, the Brian brothers, one of the great doubles wow. teams ever. Yeah. In fact, they're just been in, uh, elected to go into the tennis hall of fame. They they were very much into you know, make the first serve, first five, like very basic yeah. things. Yeah. But there's certain players like to be reminded of basic things. And I think it's obviously be very similar with these players here. How much of your role as a trainer is a trainer, tennis coach, or a psychologist? Com combination of all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mostly the psychologist. And the, I think the important thing is sometimes is to know what, when not to say anything. Yeah. I suppose each player is different. Yeah. Some players can take criticism. Some yep. need constant, come on, come on. The vamos, the vamos, you're exactly. here. Well, a 15. Just left that smash a wee bit short and paid the price. Ari. And just hits that down the middle, Victoria Iglesias. Mm, lob volley there, I like that one. Just had to read just slightly there, Marta. You do see a lot of. Oh. For the uh, that shot uh, is called the contra pared. It's like the back glass. You could play it off the yeah. back yeah. glass. The yeah. only thing is, it actually hit the fence, oh, which did. is okay. out. It has to come okay. off the glass. That's good. Okay. Got if it. they hit a shot, the other team, and it bounces and hits the fence, you can play you it. Can still play but it. you can't yeah. hit the ball into the fence. Under a little bit of pressure at love 30. Again. Yeah, it's one one yeah, it hits the, it with, the, with the side spin, comes off the glass. It's unfortunately, we can't see the angle from behind Iglesias. But it just it, it, it drops dead, and you don't have sometimes enough here. Look, sometimes you don't have enough room to pull your up right yeah. back far yeah, enough for the shot. She's spinning away from yeah. her, too, and she had to cover a lot of territory there. And the window cleaner will have to do a little bit of work yeah. at the back He'll of the court here. afterwards. <laughs> Again, Ari looking for Guinard, switches direction. Ooh. Ooh, she'd like that one back. Yep, she knows it. It had it set up pretty nicely. Tried to hit the angle, but. Yeah, that goes down as an unforced error. Yep. Also an important point because now it's 30 on. Mm. Could have had break points. It's a good serve. Yeah. And 40, 30. serve was really half the point there, wasn't it? And then finished by Ari Sanchez, 40-30. Bit of a pep talk there, Iglesia Sanguinart. I still find it so hard to see if those are in or out. Eh? Yeah. Sometimes you can guide yourself by the sound, not on this mm. occasion, because it literally was. Sounds a bit fence. metallic, yeah. That's a good serve there. Oh, wow. yes, good yeah. move. Yeah. Took the gamble. Yeah, yeah. You know. yeah well anticipated by getting out there. That's why I think somebody comes from tennis would be able to adapt quickly to the paddle. Yes. If they, if they come from double, yep. because we've seen... Yeah, but decisive move. Yeah. You know, a lot of single plays. You, you, yeah. Yeah, you can sense that, and she was really quick to cut that off. not because Ali had stayed back. No. Oh, a little bit optimistic there, Ari Sanchez looking to angle that over and then drop it over that and 15 love. Well, a slow start for these two, but they're picking it up now. I got the momentum. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah. Well played. It's incredible to see you know, how that momentum can suddenly change. Yeah. We've seen players leading 4 1, coasting. You know, the other players almost seem dejected, and then suddenly there's one point. One point, it just clicks. It. Yeah. yeah, look at this. They're, they're, they're rattled now. Yeah. Did any of us pick uh, the team from Canada? <laughs> I don't <laughs> no. think so. <laughs> no, that's oh, a lovely shot. That's an awesome shot. That's the rare time you see that forehand cross caught with a bit of top spin. Top spin yeah. Yeah. But the top spin needs to bounce really early on mm -hmm. so it doesn't come back off the glass. So again, a good serve, they'll put it under pressure. Playing much better today, Marina Gina. Yeah, definitely. It's good job. She only made one mistake so far mm -hmm. in this opening set. And again, she comes forward. Mm. Tremendous double handed backhand. There, the movement was much better. Oh, and he calls for it. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That was a big one. <laughs> she does hit those bajadas oh, tremendously yeah. well, Ari Sanchez. But if you call for it, you've got to kill it as well, haven't mm -hmm. you? Too much heat. I'm trying to regroup because they realize they don't want to let this lead no, slip away. And it, this it, it's been tough for them to find Seventh out. game, they're going to say this is just as important and paddle as it is in tennis. The seventh game. Oi, yes. well, lost four, lost golden three consecutive ball. points yeah. and the golden yeah. point. And what we're talking about, with your morale and the way you're thinking, if you lose this now after being mm -hmm. 40 love up. You can normally tell because you hear the yes, vamos from the players that win the point. And I'm sure it would be a huge cheer if Ali and Taliban come out on top in this game. I would say they just have to try and keep this ball alive, Ari and Marta Talavan. There it is. Big yeah. chin. Yeah, because now suddenly... There's a the momentum, SSA. as you were saying just a moment ago. Well, winning four points to come back from Love 40, taking the game, getting that break. Ahead once again, Nuria Rodriguez. Just giving some words of wisdom. <laughs> The early game tactics were to attack Mary Nikinard, who was probably struggling early on. But she's playing better so far yeah, today. Because yeah. she's playing better, yeah. Patrick, they're saying now, they're gonna okay, change it up. Yeah. You know, the lobs to Mary really have to be better. But the yeah. player who's missing now is yeah. Victoria Iglesias. Per, yeah. So maybe isolate Ginard. Mm -hmm. I mean, for her, that's a simple volley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She should keep that in play. Didn't get low enough. Well, they've just put the music up a bit yeah, louder. So <laughs> <laughs> we like the DJ, yeah, but sometimes he doesn't make our job right, any easier. We want to hear. We want to hear. <laughs> also, for these players, it's a lot worse. The, you know, 40 love or love 40 ah. like winning a game and ending up losing their game. Losing that is yeah, hurt. Yeah. Losing 40 love, okay, yeah. it was a bad game, but we were there. It was ours yeah. to win. I think those hurt more than they do. And it's a carryover effect. Well, Guinart and Iglesias need a break in this set, Paul. They do indeed. Ari Sanchez serving. As we said, she's not been that convincing on a serve. Last couple of game matches. Had to work in her first service game. Mm. Very focused there. Play from Reus, just short south of Barcelona. Uh, uh, she's recovered, nice she's yeah. recovered. Didn't take long. Yeah, make amends for the early mistake. Just drifted into the centre, Ginnart, again. That hit the wall first, yeah, that's yeah. out. Trying to mix and match her shots. 
Always important because if a player always knows it's going to be a lob or always going to be a drive, then they're always prepared for the next shot. Mm. Gave her a few problems, that bounce off the wall again for Marina Guinard. Yeah, just saying there was a massive kick up off the fence. Couldn't get high enough to bring it down. Try that double-handed backhand. Oh, wow, that's unplayable, yeah. basically. It's really yeah. difficult. There's a point about 10 centimetres off the corner where you're never too sure mm. if it bounces left, right, right, left. It's very difficult to, to judge. So 40-30, Aradui Sanchez serving to go 5-3 ahead in this opening set in the semi-finals of the City's Cup. Yeah. And there it is. The momentum has definitely switched. And Sanchez with a couple of loose errors in that game, but the opponents could not capitalize. Good to see Iglesias there, just applauding, like you said, trying to, to help because, mm -hmm. you know, if you shout, it's not going to help no. you or no. your doubles partner. Uh, oh. just hit, when it hits the top, it always, <laughs> always <laughs> makes Travels it impossible <laughs> for yeah. the return. 15, love. It's a good return from Harry Sanchez because it was so close to the, to the glass. Got the shot there. Lob will be the best shot to get to the net from Guinart. Couldn't get forward, Guinart. Oh, good get. Yeah. And fake oh, smash. Oh, nice. She plays that fake smash yeah. so, so well. She kind of holds it. You know, yeah. she holds it, holds it, and then at the last second. Got to disguise yeah. it to the last moment. But this all came about because Guinart stayed back. Iglesias had to track back, yeah. and they lost control of the point. She's got to get forward. Not play. Just basically flat bats that one. 30-15. We've had 33 minutes of play here in the Dougal Greenhouse in Brooklyn. Red lob, lovely touch. Oh, oh, that fake, fake smash yeah. again. Tried to just outsmart the opponent. Had to clear the net would be one of those that just drops mm. by the fence. Ah, lovely. No, long. Oh, okay. again. Oh. 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 A few mistakes there. Three eye. Fathers of four for set ball change. But serving for the set. That's it. Well, he's just a bit lower now. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was only the song. <laughs> just, uh, just next to them is John Sam, so we'll be playing the next match with Gustafia. This is something you see in the Davis Cup as well. It's so good when you have Wow. All the players mm, are together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's so much fun. Talk about the Davis Cup being played in Malaga, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, this I week. Yeah. Of yep. Germany was playing uh, the Netherlands yeah. today. In fact, in semi-final, U.S. team went down to yeah. uh, Australia. Surprised? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I think there's only one story, though, from the Davis Cup oh, this yeah, year, that's isn't it? it? That's, yeah, that's, that's Rafa yeah. Nadal. Yes. Yeah. Maybe he'll go to Pit. Uh, oh. oh. he's, he's, he's got an academy, isn't he? In Mallorca. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's got it in several courts, places sir. around yeah, yeah. the world. Yeah. Well, yeah. You yeah. saw in that Q8. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so. a sport that's so popular in Spain. It's so been popular. Now, about yeah. 20, 30 yeah. years.
Marta Televan ready, serving for the first set. So again, Harry calls for it. Just goes long. Just needs a little lift, doesn't she, Marina Gennard? The thing is, because she's playing against Adi Sanchez, the world number one, sometimes you feel you need to do a bit more with your shots. Mm -hmm. You need to be a bit deeper, a bit... Yeah. She put the pressure on there with her positioning, which is... A couple of times she's gotten burned, but this time it pays off because she comes in Tried to go for that angle. Missed it. That's a good serve there. Nadia. Nobody's coming. Nobody's coming. Yeah, Woof. Just had enough on it. And Victoria Iglesias gets through the door without any disasters. For those kind of smatches, obviously the top spin, because when it kicks up off the glass, it brings it back over to your side of the court. Once again, does well there, again out coming to the net. Oh, another loose one there yeah. from Adi Sanchez. Oh. 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 Still plenty of work to be done here. And it's been mainly Adi Sanchez yeah, she's made quite the a few unforced errors, not Marta Talaban. I mean, Adi is the player that uh, is taking more risks in this game, but still very much unlike her. That was well played by it. Iglesias right up against the fence, not allowing the ball to hit the fence. Oh, wow. oh, Great shot. Catch. Well, well constructed there. And Sanchez and Talavan. So two set points for Ari Sanchez, Marta, Talavan. Well, two players are on a string, so as soon as Guinard got pulled one way, then of course Iglesias mm -hmm. has to kind of cover, cover a bit more for of the it and opens it up. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, well played, Marta yes. Talavan. Really well played. Oh, Talavan was the MVP of that set. So that's our first set, 6 4. And it goes for Miami. Well, here we are back in the Duggan Greenhouse for our first match of the first semi final. First blood in the first set going to the Miami Paddle Club against the Toronto Polar Bears. Myself, Paul Gublin, joined by Eric McKee and Patrick McEnroe. Enjoy the first set, Patrick. I loved it. This is uh, very, very cool to watch this live. How different is it watching on TV to watching uh, it here? It's live? a lot different. It's just as you were talk we were talking earlier about you know the speed of the game and I and there's also the, the the movement and how much they're moving within each point. They're covering a lot of territory. Very quick, explosive moves. Just waiting for Marta Talavan. Here she comes. I think she's just uh, changed the grip on a racket. Second set. Yeah, even though it's not exactly warm here Standard. in New Second York, I've got to say, especially today, we have seen a lot of players, haven't we, struggling with a little bit of sweat yeah. on their hands and. We've seen a spray, I don't know if it's only mm. here in the US, some magic spray that they put on the uh, grip and then suddenly... And suddenly everything's fine? Yeah. yeah it's, it's probably right It's like there. when the players get injured <laughs> and they use that magic cold spray and right, suddenly they freeze it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Victoria Iglesias to get us going again in the second set. And after losing that first set, they'll be looking for a positive start. Sanchez did a nice job of going on the attack quickly off that hard smash. He read it perfectly. That's a lovely crossing, cross court shot. Nothing that Victoria could do with that. Yeah, tough angle. The yeah. thing about Victoria Iglesias, you look at her body language and you can tell when she's not happy. She, she wasn't happy like, against Osoro. 
Oof. when they played. It was what, they used to be play together and they played oh, against yeah. one another. Uh -huh. Bit of the a only little, game was yeah. <laughs> tension. We can, we can yeah, call we, it that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In the end, it was okay. They went out for dinner together. Right. Okay. But you could tell during yeah. the game there were a few uh, moments where you know a few sparks. Oops, little understand misunderstanding there. That's a bit short. Ops not to go for the big smash though, Ari. We're just trying to slow cook the point, looking for the best time to hit the killer blow. Oh, just good shot there. Yeah, yeah really nice. what a very good lob That's from Marta reading, Calaman. Yeah, reading, the, reading the play. And the pace, just yep. perfect. Just yep. so it didn't... Just a bit harder. Yep. Yeah, it would have come off the glass and Gnart would have got there. Just drifted into the corner and died. Once again, another good lob. There. Well done. Working, working them over here. Yep. And once again, the pressure is on very much. 15-40. They were, as you said, they, they did work her over there, uh, uh, Marina Guinard. Yep. I think there was tiredness after, you know, tracking backwards, forwards, because the ball was slightly behind us. She kind of misread the rebound off the back wall. She was there, yep. just too close to the ball, slightly behind her. Well played, return yeah, right out of feet and it's Chiquita. And one love once again. Oh, yeah. She started the set really well. And these, this last game is probably the Gnart we saw yesterday. Mm. You know, just sometimes missing that extra yard there. The ball was down at her feet. Yeah, just uh, fatigued, a little bit fatigued there. And also, they've been playing games, you know, tournament started on Tuesday yeah. there were three group games Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday of course now it's four games Tight. in four days and she we, used to, we used to do a drill in yeah. tennis you know we used to call it up and back you know the, and the coach would f get a basket and feed you know overhead mm -hmm. and back and that was one of the uh, most uh, exhausting <laughs> and, yeah. I, and watching this you see they pretty much do that every point that's, you know, that's tougher than side to side yeah isn't it? definitely go up and back is much tougher Ooh, oh, just a, into the side. That's a great. Was that out? Yeah, yeah just, just into the side. side. Grazed the fence. Yeah. Now, from your from when you're set, you can't quite. I couldn't see it, yeah. but I was yeah. I'm, I'm watching Pork it live <laughs> instead of the <laughs> monitor here. I think that is the issue. If we're struggling to see, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the players. Who'd be an umpire? The players are really honest. It's something because yeah. sometimes the players are the ones that inform the umpire if it's good or bad. Yeah, the, it, it's it seems the players are the ones calling the yeah. shots, right? Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, mean, there's the umpire there calling the score, but I haven't heard them like overrule a call. No, no, the players it's sometimes like say, tennis. you know, it's out or yeah. <laughs> Imagine that in tennis. Yeah. Oh my God, forget <laughs> that. <laughs> Although now, of course, they have all the electronic. Yeah, yeah but line quite calling. Most it's other some other terms do have video here. They do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hawkeye. But it's a bit hit and miss here because of uh, the glass and, and mm. the laser reflections. So here it's not in use, so we kind of trust the players. Right. Once oh, again, brilliant shot. Done. Yeah. Next. She sees the opening there and just pokes it up the line. Now, Guinard there. That's why Iglesias is a bit upset. Uh, had no need Seven. to step into the middle to try and hit it. Mm. And then she was out of position. A lot of ground to cover. And his passing shot was excellent. It's a good lob. Wise choices. I think that's the thing about. Ooh, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, that was that was that's what we call frustration. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Bent it up, anger. Yeah. No? <laughs> Especially do that in one point. Yeah. Then in several. So hopefully yeah. you've got it out of your system. Hopefully get it out. Mm. <laughs> it's got to focus now because it's her serve. Otherwise, this could be over in a hurry. 
loses this game, gets down to double break. Well played, nice Victoria Iglesias. Yep. Just like in tennis, when you get those uh, volley rallies, it's really important to hold your ground. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you're tempted to take a little step back, a little step back, and you end up where you shouldn't be. Right, and you need those quick counts to be able to yes. do that. Like that. Yeah. 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 yeah, we know what we're talking about here, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Right there, she just keeps her racket steady, keeps her ground. Frustration. Nice backhand that. And once again, that ball down the middle causing a few problems. Just hold up there. Oh, oh just a good eye, as we say. It was a fraction of a second, I was thinking, why did they let that one go? Yeah, and then we found out. Well, good to see Victoria Iglesias. Uh, wow. You know, she's there with Guinard. Now, we saw yesterday that there were times when Victoria kind of turned away, walked away. But now she's, you know, there backing. The doubles partner, he's, he's struggling right now. That's a lovely little lob there from Marta again. Not enough on that lob. That's a good ball, good shot. Oh, great <laughs> shot. Oh. Oh, that's unlucky. Great oh. shot, though, from Ari Sanchez. And once again, we have a golden point. From 40 love to golden point. Second time it's happened. Yeah, yeah. it's happened in the decisive break in the first set. <laughs> if you can lip read, uh, we have to, uh, yeah. Can't yeah. translate that. You can, learn some new, <laughs> you can learn some new words. Yeah, that'll be beep, 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 beep. <laughs> but we like working here, so we're not going to translate them. <laughs> Not too happy, I think, is what we can say. <laughs> Disappointed. Atras, so constantly atras. They're staying back, they're staying back, they're not attacking. Marta or Ari. Just waiting for their moment. Oh, oh, yeah. well, they wow. needed that. The Bears, the Bears needed that right there. Two games to one. Very stay, big point. Stay alive. Yeah. Yeah, I think a three love would have been counted down to our second match. Well, we've already talked about the court and what a lovely playing surface is, and that's because it is the new Adidas high competition model. Paddle court chosen as the exclusive official court for the next three years for all PPL tournaments. It is without a doubt the most suitable court for high competition, as we're seeing and as we're enjoying. Well, they built their first court here in 2015. Adidas and well, the sport of course in the US is uh, growing, it's growing fast, we've got uh, over 500 courts in the US, uh, more on the east coast, uh, mm. Orlando and Miami though of course in San Diego, the surroundings, plenty of options too.
And of course, next year we expect much more. There is Mr. Windowman. Yeah, our rock and roll window clean. He's wearing I'm different colors. Yeah, it's a workout out here. He's wearing pink socks today. Yeah. Yesterday they were black <laughs> green. Watch him go. Yeah. I was saying to Paul, I've got a bathroom window at home, which is about 50 centimeters <laughs> by a meter. I take twice as long. this guy. Yeah, and it's a mess yeah. afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should get my, my better half, though. She'd sort of stand behind me and go, look, you missed, you missed a bit there, look. Yeah. Oh, he's fired up, this guy. Well, back out we are. 2-1. In the second set for Adi Sanchez and Marta Talavan. They were very close to going three love up in the second set, already lead by one set to love. It's Adi Sanchez serving. Chance to take th 3 1. Let's see. Will they be able to have an effective little talk? Guinard and Iglesias. 15 love. Maybe not. 15 love. Well, Sanchez thus far has been a little bit more vulnerable when she's serving than when her partner's serving. See if that trend continues. But that trend has continued, I think, throughout the uh, mm, event pool. Yeah. And I wonder if that might Third be a level. factor if they, if Miami get to the final. Is that going to be one of the factors that decides it? Mm. 30 love, however, in this game. Again, Ari, all the time she goes over, doesn't she, asking for that ball just in Marta's side of the court. That's had a stretch in. I mean, they're making Ginnart work hard. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, brilliant. That is four That's one of those... The uh, points that I say counts for more than one point mm -hmm. yeah. is not only did you work over the opponents, but then you finished it emphatically. I know that. They're taking some time extra out, time yeah. here, yeah, just to try to just get a little momentum, to get, a li get a little breather as well. Yeah, yeah regroup, perhaps as well. Digs that one out well. Now you'll see that the vast majority of lobs are cross court because the distance is longer than if you go down the line. Um, yeah, 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 set that one up well, didn't she? Just yeah. put into Victoria Iglesias. All she could do was just play it back, and at the end, it's fired at Ginnart, who was left absolutely still down the river. Well, that was her best uh, service game, holds it love there. So 3 1. Once again, the pressure on Victoria Iglesias, who's been was broken in the opening game of the set. You can also see that Addy and Talavan have a skip in their step. They're quickly yep. already, you know, waiting for the next point. And they want the points to be, you know, quick and fast. And they're bouncing around. Yeah. And when sometimes when you see your opponents do that, yeah. it's, it's intimidating. All, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially when you're down a Mind second break. Yeah. Nicely done. Third enough. Just did that clip the net on the way through. No, just uh, picked up by, by Addy. Miss Red drops in. Yep. There, Guinart uh, had the option to play at first time, thought it was going long. Sometimes, if in doubt, it's better to hit the shot mm. if you're in a good position. Because if you have to track back, then more often than not, you lose the point. It's been just got a little bit lucky. I suggest this is a big psychological point. If you if you can make it 40-15, if it goes back to 30 all. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that stings. <laughs> that hurts. Yeah, that's gone to 40 15. Maybe yeah. not the way she was planning. Yeah, yeah. that one that one definitely uh, stung right in the Martha. side there, yeah. yeah. Now, there's never any intent, uh, of course, to hit an opponent. Though it's true that sometimes when you do smash, you aim for players' feet. In Spain, they call it mm. al muñeco. You aim for your opponent, but down low. 
translated actually as aim at the dummy. Yes. <laughs> Just a bit <laughs> hard. That's what Munyaka yeah. is, the dummy. <laughs> as in target practice. Plus, <laughs> let's be honest, that we are talking about a, co a cord of slightly more reduced dimension, yeah. so you are going to be coming into play a little bit more often maybe than in tennis. And also sometimes when you're about to smash, your opponent runs towards the net in case it hits right. the back glass oh, and comes right. back. So you've right. got to play it running straight yeah, at you. I mean, that's a smart <laughs> play, actually, to go. I, I'm surprised that they don't do that more often. Probably because... <laughs> Too nice. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Los dos, that means oh, well, the shot was the two had come forward. Yeah. Los dos, yeah. yes. An important hold that. Yeah. Important there for Toronto. So there's still only the one break between them. They've done a good job, I think, these two of, hang, of hanging in it and keeping it together. Because definitely there are a couple moments where I thought this could get away from them in the second set. Can you make out what you yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. She's just saying, you know, Marta Taliban is playing out of her skin. And for Dina, she has the feeling, the sensation that she's playing on a smaller court, mm. that all her shots just seem to be going long. Now, sometimes, you know, when you play basketball, if you're on fire, that hoop just seems to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And in panel, I suppose, as well, with tennis, when you get tense, anxious, nervous, that racket just seems to weigh more and more. She was just saying that, I had this feeling that all my shots are going long. Yeah. Because she's been put under a lot of pressure. Very rarely have we seen Ginaat comfortable, you know, with time to hit a shot. The right. team from Miami, too, they, you know, they have a lot of skill, obviously, but they're also an exceptional mover. Mm -hmm. So they, they move better around the court, so it feels like there's less, you know, places to go yeah. against them. Well, it'll be Marta Talavan to serve. 3-2 to the good in this second set. We're just approaching the hour, 59 minutes. Right now, Pat was saying that uh, Marta Taliban has been playing brilliantly. Mm. Very solid, very few mistakes. Oh, she missed it. It was wide. No. Yeah. She struggled a little bit in the second set yesterday against New York, didn't she? When they went from winning 6-1 to then losing 6-1 in the second set. And then exploded into life in yeah. the uh, super tiebreak, which they dominated. We thought they might lose it after mm. what happened in that second set, uh, winning the first set 6-1 and then dropping that second set 6-1. She sent another one along, mm. love 30. All of a sudden, a wee bit of pressure and the chance to maybe get right back into mm. this. I think Iglesias and Guinart are somewhat fortunate that uh, Addy's not playing to her full potential because she's made quite a few mistakes. On a normal day, I, I think it'll be game over. I don't that. know if she needed to do that. I think everybody groaned there. Yep. Tries to anticipate, but it's not the first time she's done that, just stepped across and put it into the net. Another little conference. In paddle, you're allowed two or three little pep talks mm. where the uh, service clock doesn't count. Okay. So it's like a mini timeout. Well, they had one time where the umpire said time. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they only be allowed that to happen maybe one more time? Yes. Yeah. They'll try and make it happen two or three if needed. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a great love. And that's better for Mali. Ooh, oh, that's a beautiful oh. dropper. <laughs> so again, make her work. Tremendous at all. That's Block beautiful. Volley, yeah. And have this backspin on it as well. They might get called at none time here again. Yep. Now, that wasn't a timeout. That was just a quick high five to get <laughs> you going. I think it was to annoy Addy as well, who was set up for the serve. But, you know, so Taliban both wanted to you know, get the point quickly underway again just slow them down that's a bit short and he just got a fraction on oh. that oh, yeah. oh, oh, well 
the good, court. Good, good movement, good anticipation. Keeps the racket up high so it's ready to intercept. Just got out of trouble there. This has been Marta Talavan's best game so far. She's not played badly, but she's oh. playing really well this evening. Shot, Addy. She's done that all the yeah, time it's in on that situation. Forehand, it's on her forehand, so slightly more attacking. Again. Oh, oh she recovered brilliant. so well, yeah. but not from oh, that. Well played. Great point. Yeah. Really yeah. well worked. Did well to keep it in play there and later on during the rally. Just Sanchez is able to cover so much of the court mm -hmm. with her defensive skills and not get them in any real trouble and keep them in the, and then get on offense so quickly. It's that transition yeah. from defense to offense in one shot. Mm -hmm. They're on the back foot throughout the point and then on the attack. So when she's at her best, she's absolutely unplayable. Yeah. Guess that's why she's number one, huh? Yep. <laughs> So 4-2, still just that one break in it, and we've seen that the break is possible. Oh, that's lovely again from Marta Talavan. Mm. Still alive. Yeah. Incredible by Iglesias. Oh, yeah. Love it. That was tough. It's just taking body blows now. Mm. That was a bad shot by Guinard, because it was straight to Marta Talavan. And then you had poor Iglesias scurrying around the court. Outside. Oh, yep. Good hit. Needs a couple more of those, I think, Marina Gennart, for confidence. She's certainly got the capacity to hit those smashes, but they've really kept her more defensive, haven't they, with yeah. her lobs, pushing her back, having her facing backwards. Keep her behind the service line. You know, a lot of balls down low. Yeah, her Make feet. Her get up high, and then, yeah. Here it comes. Yeah. Didn't get a touch on it, but it was there, wasn't it, to be, to maybe be killed. And also you can see sometimes, you know, when players start to tie on a point, and then you see that they're not positioned under the smash, they arrive slightly late, the ball drops slightly too low, and they start making unforced errors. Four, a bit too long there from Ari, 40-15. Shot from Ari, well recovered. Oh, mm. just picked a spot, Ari. You're gonna let slip another game, Paul. Well, it's still there for them, isn't it? Another game they've led. If he gets the gold point, I'll be putting my money on Marta and Ari. He's got to get there. Ooh. That's a great yeah. shot from Marta Talavan. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well played Ooh. once again. And well, I just said that. And I put my reputation <laughs> on for, for, for what it's worth. Yeah, what it's shot. worth. But that double-handed backhand, it was an, a brilliant passing shot down the middle, but too deep and too much topspin. Mm. 
Easier for us to see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> but had it always been, easier yeah, up here. Had it been slightly yeah. softer and bounced slightly earlier, yeah. they would have won the point. Listen, I'm undefeated up here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Iglesias just taking the responsibility there. Whoops. Don't think that helped. Marty just getting into Marta's ground. Genkin Art on the back foot here. It's going to be out. That's yes. gone, hasn't it? Well, oh, yeah. that is such a shame. I'm not yeah. going to say anything, but my it's reputation such is in that. Such a shame. Yeah. I think that is going to be decisive as well. Two breaks to the good, 5 2 chance to serve for the match. Just one poor shot, and that was it. I just say, and there's a big sign of why we think it might be over because. John Sands was sat there next to Adi Sanchez and his coach. He's, up, he's not there he's anymore. Up, yeah. He's going to warm up. He's going to get ready. So one game away to giving the first point in the semi-final to the Miami Paddle Club. Tense point. It struck me as well how how little of the ball Victoria Iglesias has seen in the last couple of games. Mm. They've, they've put her in the fridge a wee bit. Yeah. That shot there, that's when they lost the running. Oh. Yeah. And she was suddenly on the back foot. You can get it back, but you can't control it, can you? Oh, huge smiles on the faces of Ali uh, Marta. Second serve because the ball bounce hits the net and bounces and hits the fence. Mm. And it will be a second serve. It bounces twice. And of course, like tennis. Select. Marta Talavan. He saw her hit the fence and came out. Yeah. Almost at 90 degrees. Love 15. Sorry, 15, love. If you can get the angle or you can hit it into the fence, uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. guessing you're winning 90 uh, some percent of those yeah. points. Absolutely. I tell you, that's a game over shot, yes, isn't it? Yes, that is. Let's get me out of here. Just a bit of frustration, I think, there from Victoria Iglesias. Getting out with the loft, with the lob. Justin. Um, it's good. Oh, it's in. Yeah. So's that. That's where you need to switch. Seemed like it was going to be on the forehand, and then you end up using the backhand there, Marta. Yeah, Lydia Sanchez steps into that side of the court. Ooh. 
Good work, Aguinat. Almost played herself into trouble. Oh, Victoria! Oh, this time it was Victoria Iglesias. Uh, last to la Victoria, and it's 40 love, four match points. Yeah, that so often happens. The second set tail is a lot mm -hmm. easier than the first for our perhaps our top ranked players. Well, they've broken down their resistance. And oh, I'm still in. Nope, didn't call it. Yeah. There you go, though. One hour, 12 yeah. minutes, 6-4, six, 6-2 for, six, for Ari Sanchez six, four, and Marta six, Talavan. First blood in this first semi-final goes to the Miami Paddle Club. Piling the pressure on Jorge Nieto and Javier Barajona. For the second match, they don't beat Gustapia and John Sanz. And that's going to be difficult. We will know our first finalist for tomorrow. They'll be delighted that it was a quick game, unlike yesterday's, because of course now they have more time to rest, to prepare, yep. if, of course, they do qualify for the final. Now they're in the driving seat, and when you look at poor Toronto, I mean, they made the semi final in the first tournament of the year, Miami <laughs> lost, made the semi final in the second tournament and lost, made the semi-final in San Diego and lost. And here again in the semi-final, the one you're down. But as their coach said, as Nicola Ketso said, you know, we're always there, we're there. Nobody gave anything yeah. for them at the start of the season, one of the last teams into the franchise. Um, when they started, they didn't even have any paddle courts no. in Toronto. And I think Zero. There's eight, I think there's eight places where you can play paddle now in the city in a year. Suspect there'll be more. Um, as we continue, I think Toronto is a place where you'd want to play indoors in winter as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. I think so. Yeah, definitely. But you end up playing on skis. Well, time for the smash of the match, brought to you by Adidas. Who's it going to be? Well, there haven't been that many smashes, but it's that one from Adi Sanchez, which yeah brings it home. Got that effect, got a little bit of spin. Didn't actually go out of the court, but ran along the glass and ran away from a lot, of time, a, lot, a lot of times she used that sort of when she faked a big yes. smash and went with the precision and she's just so much so versatile out Check. there. Anyhow, we're just gonna go by the looks of it to our man Julian, who will have a quick word with the winners with Marta Talavan and Ari Sanchez. He's getting himself ready at the end of the court. Oh, he's moving them around. He's got his glasses. What color? I don't know. <laughs> we'll he's find got out. 12 <laughs> different colors, apparently, 12, to clip to 24. his frame. 24. Okay. A man with a mic. Check. Take it away, Julian. Ladies and gentlemen, what a spectacular performance by these two amazing players. Marta, you, even though you're third in the world, you play like a top 10 player in the world. It was flawless, your performance. Uh, let me know, how did you feel on the court? Bueno, muchas gracias. Eh, bueno, ya va quedando menos. Eh, la verdad que sigo encontrándome muy bien en la pista. Creo que, como he dicho siempre, es que con Ari es muy fácil jugar. Me siento muy bien con mi equipo, nos animamos mucho, somos una piña. Y nada, súper contenta de haberle dado otra victoria más al equipo para estar en la final. I felt very well on the court. Playing with Ari gives me, pumps me up to be the best I can be. And I'm happy to give this point to, uh, to the Miami Paddle Club. Ari, truly amazing performance once again. Uh, you guys gave this uh, crucial point for Miami Paddle Club to move into one step closer to the big final. Uh, tell me, what was the strategy going into the match? Sí, bueno, la verdad que estoy súper contenta, estoy disfrutando mucho dentro de la pista, estoy jugando muy suelta, eh, teníamos un partido muy duro, hemos estado muy sólidas, agresivas, como llevamos siendo toda la semana, y la verdad que estamos con muy buenas sensaciones y contentas de dar un puntito al equipo, que es súper importante, y ahora animar a los chicos. Super happy, I'm, I'm very relaxed on the court, uh, and super pumped to give the extra point to the Miami Paddle Club, and uh, let's put our hands together and let's go, let's go Miami Paddle Club! Well done, everybody! Excellent. Okay, let's go, let's go. Well, 
Before we go anywhere, we're going to have a little look back at what happened in this opening match in the semi-finals. Among with the fluorescent socks, is making sure the court is going to be in pristine condition for the second semi-final. But first of all, this is what happened. 4 p.m. East Coast time. We've started here in the Dougal Greenhouse. We started with a 6-4, 6-2 win for Miami for Ari Sanchez and Marta Talavan, who once again didn't really do much wrong. They were, they were solid, they were solid. I think uh, Marta played better than Ali. I mean, Ali is good, and when she's great, then she's unbeatable. But there were a couple of key games where we saw them leading 40 Love, mm -hmm. and they lost them. Yeah. I, you know, I just think the team from Miami, too, they were able to kind of control the tempo of the match by, I think, again, being just better with the movement around the court, setting points up. They worked the opponents over, Guinard and Iglesias. They, you know, they, they used the lob consistently. And again, they just tactically, because of their superior speed, I think it opened up for them to have more tactical play consistently. And I know you took one. Ouch. Right the, she, was still, she was still, still, rub stings, she still, was stings. still rubbing that after the match, actually. Yeah, so. She's probably got a little, uh, might have a little black and blue there. Yeah. A little tattoo, the name of the ball. Added us <laughs> on the name of on the inside of a. Uh, a shoulder. But they got off two, won the first two games in the second set again. And then got another break and took it home. Short match. Now on 12 minutes, Paul. It was indeed. In the end, a convincing win. We will take a little break after we show you the stats. And there you see, once sometimes we've talked about how there's not always that many differences in points. And this time there, this time there is 57 to 43. Makes the percentage count very easy as well, doesn't it? 57 to 43. And only one break point, Toronto, yeah. in the whole match. Yeah, pretty one-sided. It it, it, despite the 6-4 in the opening set, I uh, felt like uh, Miami was just far superior in pretty much every aspect of the game. Okay, there you go. We will be a back after a short break.